this is Erica Glessing, and you're joining me for the Erica Glessing Show. And you know, I'm just so excited today. We're actually in Maui finding our Fiji on the show. My guest is an amazing light worker, and her name is Kim Juleen. How are you, Kim? I am doing fabulous. <laughs> I, you know, I even the name Finding Your PG. What does that mean? That's a wild name. I love it. Yes, yeah. So it actually a little visual for you. I was sitting on um, on the deck of a beret in Fiji, and sitting there thinking, "This is my dream life. Tropical all around me. Super warm weather. Learning new things." I was actually at a Tony Robbins. Uh, business mastery program that I was there in Fiji for. And I just thought this is my dream life. So finding your Fiji is really just that helping people find and live their dream life. And I found my Fiji in Maui. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of my other um, podcast hosts uh, is a Hawaii, lives in Hawaii on the big island. And oh. um, her show is called Every Day is Earth Day. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Fiona Dempster, yeah. So anybody listening, if you want to go get some earth juju, Fiona Dempster is the host of that show. So nice. Fiona, why don't you tell me when someone sees their dream life and their actuality life as so flipping different, like where do we even begin? Like if you're just so, let's just, let's talk to the miserables. I mean, I don't usually yes. talk to the miserables. But let's yeah. just go ahead. You know, we often talk to the people who are already doing their life's work. Why don't we talk to the people who are just kind of like sitting there living a miserable life, pretending maybe it isn't miserable, but wishing it were better. What can we do to change that? Yeah. So it's really the little things. And I think uh, actually being in a miserable life is a good starting spot because that's where <laughs> we get to surrender. Um, when it's so bad that you're just like this, whatever I'm doing is not working, that that is the time to really just fully surrender and let go of uh, trying to make things happen. Uh, so it's a really, actually a really beautiful place to be in. And I've been there before. It's not fun, um, but it is, um, you know, I've gotten to the point where it's like, you know, the, what I'm doing is not working. So I'm just going to let go and you just tell me what to do spirit. Right. And so the, the easiest thing for people to do when they're in that place is to let go of any attachment to how things are going to go, how it's going to work and get quiet and listen. Um, when you start listening, you'll get information and guidance because they're right. constantly, we each and every one of us have a spiritual team of angels and guides and they're constantly giving us guidance. And so what's if you the, just, yeah. What's the most kind of strange or like, uh, unusual guidance you've gotten where you went, what? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that's a great question. Um, I think, you know, actually the guidance to move to Maui for me was a biggie because I lived in Minnesota all my life. Oh my um, goodness. And Minnesota I had never to even, Maui. I yeah. know, right? Yeah. That's my book title actually, Minnesota to Maui. <laughs> um, and I had never actually visited Maui. I never been here before and my guides were like the, the what came in that came in that I was meant to move to Maui and what came in is like you don't need to visit you just need to move there and so it was a little bit I'm not gonna lie like a little bit freaky like what and so I actually asked them for a really clear sign because I'm like if I'm gonna sell everything move, you know, oceans away from everyone I know, not knowing anybody here on Maui, I need a really, really clear sign. And so I asked for it and they gave it to me. I'm just so interested in this whole conversation. Uh, people, if you're just tuning in now, it's Kim Jolene and she teaches finding your Fiji and really what I love about what you said at the beginning is it's okay if you're miserable right now that you can change things. You can get visions, you can start getting messages and part of it is surrendering. So I love it. So what else would you like to share with our audience? We have a really beautiful audience of listeners on this show. I'm very blessed. Yeah. So the other little piece about it is leaning in, you know, people talk so many times about leaping and I really like to say lean in. We don't have to leap. 
we just lean in and start taking some of the actions that we're being guided to take. So little things like for me with the move is I was guided to call a realtor friend and just ask, you know, ask her to come and see, you know, what I could get for my house, what I would need to get ready to move and all of that. So I really just leaned into that and little did I know I would have my house on the market a week later. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's amazing. I think this, this concept of taking small actions, you know, I remember when my book company told me to get number one for all the authors and I went, I don't know how to do that. Like that's whack. Like how can I possibly achieve number one? for my yeah. authors and you know, I'm not big business, right? I don't have unlimited bank accounts and things like that. And so, but the book company was really clear. And so I just, I just did it. And ever since then, do you know, none of my book, all my books have gotten number one for their authors. Um, awesome. Except maybe there's like two where it just didn't come together. It was too big of a category, but like 28 books have gone number one because I was willing to get that intuition and then just not think I was crazy. Yes. Not, not think it wasn't possible, but just start saying, huh, okay, what's an action that I could take towards that? You know, Yes. what can I bring in? What energy can I bring in? And that was such a different question. You know? Yes. Yeah. And, you know, not necessarily connecting the action with what it is that you want. So sometimes people are like, oh, I need to get out of debt. What do I need to do to get out of debt? And they want you to go to a coffee shop. <laughs> you know, and the coffee shop, you end up meeting somebody that connects you with someone else that connects you with a different energy or a different field. And so it's not questioning why you need to do what it is that you're being guided to do, but just really doing it. Wow. I love it. I'm so glad you could come. I feel like I could talk to you for weeks. Um, I want to let people know Kim also has a horoscope that she does. She works up at Feng Shui. Very interesting background. Um, tell us how we can reach you and find out more. Yes, I have a website. It's findingyourfiji.com. I'm also on YouTube. My YouTube channel is under my name, Kim Jolene. The last name is J-U-L-E-N. And I do daily mini readings, monthly Zodiac readings, and Feng Shui Fridays on there as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming.